Georgia is my home. It's here where I learned the hard challenges that life can throw at us. Like many of us who grew up in the South, it's where we learn how to overcome a lot of hardships. My mother was six months pregnant when she graduated high school. She finished college and earned her degree while raising me. She never quit, no matter how hard it got. She showed me that making sacrifices are a part of what defines us. Working for my grandfather's paving business taught me invaluable skills when I was young. Running a small business takes dedication, a strong commitment, and sacrifice. It's about survival, managing resources, and making sure that you take care of others and helping those you serve. I use those very same lessons to sharpen my beliefs, to realize that when things are tough, you have to be tougher and you have to work harder. 911, what's your emergency? When I lost the ability to walk from a fall in 2007, my family was there, just as they always had been, to help bring me back. But I remembered my grandfather who faced so much adversity throughout his life. He reminded me, you gotta get up if you wanna get where you're going. When we hit rock bottom and life throws punches at us, we have to dig down deep. We have to punch back. We have to find a way to make it work. We know that our government will not solve our problems. They will not lead us out of these hard times. We have all seen their failures over and over again. Look, I'm not a politician. I'm an outsider, a businessman. I have worked for the last 25 years to create jobs and provide opportunities for others and to give back to our communities. It has given me the ability to earn the trust of those around me. Yes, I speak plainly and directly, and that is what I will do with you. Never before has it been more important to preserve what we believe in, to fight for what matters most. The freedom to choose has been the bedrock of our country, to be involved in our children's lives and encouraging them to be better than us, to give back more than we did, to give others hope when they are knocked out, to help them to get back up. It's going to take a conservative to stand up and fight for us, an outsider with a vision who will help us rebuild, a new kind of leader that puts our people first, not the party, someone who is trusted and someone who has been tested. It is time for a new day to begin. By the people, for the people. Will you stand with me? I'm Blake Harbin, and I'm running for Georgia.